There is though a belief around um, basically it's it's put as putting it's termed as putting plants to sleep, so that um, in evening time you would get a similar effect in nature, where at sunset you get a higher proportion of the sunlight spectrum is far red than red, and the understanding from some of my viewers is that we could mimic that in our artificial indoor environment to basically signal to the plants to go to sleep and that they would metabolize and um, start metabolizing um, glucose, et cetera, uh, earlier and at a higher rate and would produce higher yields overall using these triggers. Uh, do you, are you aware of that belief and is it true um, in your view? Oh yes, I'm, I'm very aware of it. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those things that is an uh, intriguing hypothesis. And, and sometimes we make hypotheses that seem so good, we accept them as true even before we have evidence. We would like to believe we could put them to sleep quicker with far red, because as you say, there's more far red at the end of the day. But in spite of numerous studies, we've rarely been able to show a beneficial effect. And usually it's 10 minutes of far red, trying to get the plants to go to sleep quicker. Um, we've not been able to show that in my lab, even though the hypothesis seems good, we've just not been able to show it. Um, so it's an so, interesting theory, but no, no evidence today to back it, it up. It, yeah. Doesn't mean it couldn't ever work, but we just, we haven't been able to show it. 